follow up to a breaking news story we first told you about earlier this evening. This terrifying sight in Union County store that sent shoppers quickly calling 911. The sheriff's office says a man walked into a local Walmart in Monroe packed with several weapons, including pistols, a long rifle and wearing a bulletproof vest. Thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Siobhan Bryan. WBTV's Ron Lee is live for us now in front of where this all happened. So, Ron, are investigators offering any clues as to why this man was there? Well, that's really the big question that everybody that I talked to had, but no one really seems to have the answer to it. I can tell you that some people tell me that they had rattled nerves when that man walked in through the front door. And it's just getting ridiculous. Daryl Philman spent his afternoon shopping at the local Walmart here in Monroe. He's actually here to pick up a firearm of his own in the form of a hunting rifle. While he's a gun advocate, he doesn't agree with the decision yeah, the suspect apparently made. Yeah, it was a very stupid decision for what he did today. The Monroe Police Department says they received several calls from panicked shoppers about an armed man walking through the store. Police say this is 32-year-old Moja Ista, apparently armed to the teeth. Police tell us that he had an assault-type rifle, two handguns, one in his waist, one in a holster, multiple fully loaded clips along with two knives, and what rattled people most of all, he was wearing a bulletproof vest. That would be very scary. I mean, he's got a vest on too, so he's wanting to do something. Officers arrived and took Estep into custody, charging him with going armed to the terror of the people. But what exactly are the rules when it comes to open carry firearms? Larry Hyatt owns Hyatt Guns. He's an expert when it comes to firearms law. Carrying a gun onto private property, uh, if they have that sign, no guns allowed, it's illegal to take it in. They can be immediately arrested. James McKay actually works at the Walmart, but says he doesn't have a problem with what the suspect did. If his purpose was not to harm nobody, I wouldn't see nothing wrong with it. Rick Sutton tells me firearms are now an everyday thing. If he just had a, a pistol strapped to him, that, you know, that would you'd think would be normal. Philman just hopes some good will yep. come out of all Hopefully. this. Hopefully whatever they're going to do will will teach him a lesson. Now, just a couple of minutes ago, I did check the court calendar, and so far there is no court date for a next appearance. In Union County, I'm Ron Lee. WBTV, on your side. Ron, thank you. And tonight we're